In this episode, we'll look at automatically deploying our functions when we make changes to them on GitHub. Now, you probably know this concept very well from folks like um, Netlify and Vercel, where they have um, integrations, kind of GitHub apps that, you know, anytime you make changes, you open a new branch, you uh, merge the branch into the main branch, they will automatically create a deployment um, for you. And so we want to do the same with our Superbase Edge functions. And what we can do here is we can utilize the Superbase CLI and GitHub Actions. So in order for this to work, we will need to set up um, a GitHub Action that will use the Superbase CLI to then um, automatically push to um, deploy our function to uh, the Superbase project we want. So what we can do is we can uh, use one of our previously created methods, so uh, functions, so for example here the uh, OG image one, and anytime we make changes and we uh, push to the main branch, we then want this to be deployed. So the way this works in GitHub Actions is we need to create um, a new file, uh, and this is a YAML file, and it needs to be in uh, a folder .github and then workflows. So this is the folder structure and then we say deploy uh, .yaml. So we create a new YAML file here um, where we then um, put the instructions for our GitHub action. Uh, and so we can go ahead, we can um, copy this here from the docs and then we can step through what is actually happening here. So um, we're calling the, the action deploy function and anytime we're pushing to the main branch, so for example, if we're directly pushing to the main branch or if we're merging um, a pull request into the main branch, then this action will be run. And in order for this to work, in order for um, the GitHub action to be able to deploy on our behalf, we will need to create a Superbase access token. So we can do this in our Superbase dashboard under access tokens. We now say generate a new token. We say edgy edge functions, generate that token. Uh, make sure you keep that token secure. Um, you don't want to share that with anyone uh, but uh, your GitHub project. So in your GitHub project, you go to um, the settings and here within actions, um, actually within secrets, we can select actions and then we can set up a new um, repository secret. Uh, so in our um, flow here, we called it Superbase access token. So we'll paste in our access token and then the name is Superbase access token. So we're adding that secret. And then in the next step, um, our project ID is not secret. So that is kind of public knowledge. For example, it's part of our um, Superbase URL anyway. So we can just take that and we can uh, put it in here into our um, uh, YAML file. Obviously, you could also put it into a secret if you wanted to, then you wouldn't need to change it. If you were using it for a different project, you could just update the secret in um, GitHub. And then Superbase functions deploy um, our function name. Uh, obviously, we could also put that into to a variable, but we'll just say here our uh, OG image function um, that we created um, in the past, and we're passing in the project um, ID to, for deployment. And that's it. So we're using here um, a, a GitHub action from the marketplace. We're using the Superbase setup CLI action. And um, that what it does is it sets up the Superbase CLI and um, runs kind of the whole uh, stack for us that is needed to actually um, do the deployment. We can also use this for migrations. There is um, a really great guide on this. Um, you can read kind of about here, um, pushing database mi migration. So you can definitely use this uh, well beyond, you know, just functions. But here we're working with edgy edge functions. So 
we'll do that. We'll deploy our um, function changes to um, OG image. And so let's actually um, go ahead and push this up. So we're just going to say um, feature add um, GitHub action. And we want, yes, everything that's uncommitted. Uh, we're syncing this and we're pushing directly to the main branch here, which, you know, obviously in, in many cases you shouldn't be doing. Uh, and then we can look at the workflows here. So we can now see for our um, push up uh, the GitHub action, uh, we're now running the um, deploy YAML job. Uh, and we're seeing we're now bundling our uh, OG image function and we're deploying um, the function to Superbase. And what we can do is we actually get um, our uh, function URL here. We can inspect it and we can see um, our function was updated um, right about now. And we can open this up here and see, okay, our function says hello OG image. But now obviously we want to verify that this is working. So we're going to change this to hello GitHub action. Uh, give that a save. So now we have um, a change here. So we're gonna say chore uh, update function. And you know, previously we would have to have um, run kind of our super base functions deploy from here. Uh, but now we've automated that part. So by simply pushing up to the main branch, um, we're now when we're looking at the uh, GitHub actions, we can see here our chore update function. And so the action is running um, the super base CLI. It is again, bundling our function uh, and it is um, pushing this up to our Superbase project. So uh, now if everything worked as it should have, um, and here we did unfortunately do an error, if you can guess it, we forgot that um, this should be a publicly exposed function. Um, so actually what we need is we need to add the correct no verify JWT um flag uh so we need to draw, uh this is a fix uh make function public and let's push this up and so now we have fixed fixed our um deploy.yaml but as you saw uh, actually it worked correctly it did deploy the function uh, and it locked it down so by default in superbase um, functions require a JWT header. Uh, but if we want to make the function publicly accessible, then we need to pass this um, no verify JWT flag. Okay, let's go back, see uh, if we have another function here. Oh, the fix is already out. So if we now reload this, hello, GitHub action. And there we are, we now automated our function deployment via GitHub actions. So thanks so much for tuning in and see you next week.